Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today guys we're diving into more Beanie and before we get started I just have to say thank you all so much for your outpouring and overwhelming amount of love and support you have given me off that very first reaction I've done of these young ladies and I, I can't thank you all enough for that because it shows that you guys want to see more, and I, and the plethora amount of suggestions you asked have asked for. Um, I, I cannot wait to start this journey with you guys. So thank you all so much for your outpouring of love, and I cannot wait to go on this journey with you guys. It's going to be so fun. You guys gave me so many song suggestions. So with that being said, though, first we're going to keep our journey kind of going with uh, Carrara. Sorry, Carrara. Um, as we're going to dive into the Wish Bush. Wish Bush? <laughs> the Wish Bus version of their song. I guess like, I will say it's the live version of it, um, which I'm very familiar with. I've watched many, 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 many performances of um, different Filipino artists on Wish Bus before, so not, not, not foreign to this at all. This is nothing new to me, but I'm very excited to hear them do some live vocals for this song because they killed it, obviously, in the studio. So I'm very excited to hear it in live version now. So let's... Uh, not wasting more time, guys. Let's dive straight into this. I am so excited. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I love this intro. <laughs> uh -huh. I love this song so much. Sounds just like the studio version. Sorry. <laughs> This is the thing that's so impressive. I'm sorry to pause. I'm going to pause every once in a while just because since we have already done the reaction to the song, I, of course, want to, you know, be able to talk about the, you know, vocals in the moment now because that's kind of what we're focusing on um, since this is live vocals. But I have to say, what's so impressive about these young ladies is the fact that it's very impressive that they can sing by themselves. You know, they kill their own individual parts. But the fact they sing together as one unit so well and the fact that they match each other so perfectly, it's like, it, it's so difficult to do that because you have to make sure you don't out-sing one person um, just by accident. You know, you want to be a full unit. Like, when you're singing together, you want to sound like one vocal unit, you know? Like, it's like, you know, like, yes, it's, you know, three or four technically different, like, vocals, but you want to sound all, like, one big full vocal as one, you know? And that itself is so hard to do. And especially in a live setting like this, so like the fact they're doing this so flawlessly, so I'll go back so we can obviously hear that, is so impressive. It's literally, it's her, the other girl we just saw, I'm sorry, I don't know anybody's names at all, it's going to take me forever to get their names down, <laughs> and whatnot. I think there was at least three or so of them singing all together for the starting off of this chorus, and they sound so good together, all just as one perfect unison, it's amazing. Like, I don't know what it is, but like for some reason, these Filipino artists are just absolutely vocals for days. I mean, my God, from people like Morissette to, like, now these young ladies, and um, I know there's another one I've reacted to before. I can't remember her name, but she's fucking phenomenal, too. I mean, it's just so good. Run it back. Let's go. This is cool. I, I could t I, you can. I'll talk about both sides. So if you pay attention here, she is kind of lifting her earphone off, but she is keeping hers kind of pushed down. So like you got one of them's like doing it like this, kind of pushing down ever so slightly, and she's kind of like slightly lifting it up like this because one of them is really trying to focus on hearing the track. Because right now, what they're hearing 
is they're essentially hearing the track being played so they can know like it's almost like like when you sing live and you're hearing like a um, the backing track um, you know you want to be able to make sure that you're singing in the um, you know proper moments and right key and whatnot you know and in the right rhythm of the song so that's kind of like, it looks like what she's focused on she is slightly lifting her earpiece it looks like, or I guess her I guess headphone because she wants to be able to hear herself so obviously when you have like headphones on like this it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to hear yourself so a lot of times what you'll see is um, in live performances you either see like a singer pop out their earpiece they have in that's so they can hear themselves better and make sure they are singing in like key and in tune with the song. So it's cool that you can see like, it's like a lot of them are doing different things. See, look, she doesn't even have hers on. See, she's completely dedicating herself to be able to hear half of the, um, enough of it in one earpiece, that she, uh, one headphone, I guess, that she can hear the music so she can stay in key and, and rhythm, but also for her to be able to hear herself to make sure she sounds good. You know, so it's like one of them wants to hear themselves, make sure they're sounding good. These like three right here this trio right here is all wanting to make sure they're hearing the song to be able to sing in rhythm and then she's kind of half doing it like what she's doing so it's funny how like, each of them are taking a different approaches to like their singing style and how they sound for the performance so it's so cool that like each of them has like their own technique like that um just a nice little fun little fitbit for i guess tidbit for you guys she's about four hertz off too right here you can see Oh, wow, girl. Oh, the backing vocals. I love a performance like this because it really allows me to kind of focus on their vocals and not get distracted from like something like the lyrics of the song or from the music video. Like when I watch a music video, of course, I'm like, I want to see the music video and I want to hear you know, the song and read the lyrics all at the same time. So I can kind of get a full perspective of what the whole entire song is about. Let's see the music video and the story behind that, possibly, and um, whatnot. And then obviously hear what the actual song is. You know, here it's all about just like let's focus on the vocals and hear everything. So like that part there, I really got to hone in on hearing those backing vocals and how good they sound and whatnot. I mean, it's so cool. <laughs> Like that, like them layering those high notes on top of that. It's like you have your main vocalist right here, and then it looks like it was like I think she was, or maybe she was doing a little bit like these lower registered backing vocals, and she comes in with the, you know. Sorry, I'm not a great singer, but I'm trying to portray what I'm talking about. So it's like you have your main vocalist, and you have a little bit of deeper tone vocals behind that, and then you're layering a higher vocal on top of that, which is what's so nice about having a big group like this. You can bring out a full range of vocals and really fill out the spectrum of the song. It's just so awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this song. This is going to give me a whole new like love for this song that I didn't even really get from just the first listen um, with you guys. Even though I've listened to this song like 20 more times since I reacted to it with you guys, still, it's like... This is the kind of stuff you miss when you just don't get the live experience. It's oh, so good. Yeah, she's dedicated to it. It's like they all swallowed CDs and they just all have the ability to sing in perfect studio, perfect EQ, perfect. Um, you know, everything done to the vocals in real life. Like, I don't hear a difference at all in these vocals compared to the studio version. Like, they're, they're like, mixing and mastering producer must have the easiest job ever because they don't have to probably do that much at all to their vocals because they're already so freaking talented. I mean, my goodness, like, 
this is like every like music producer's dream like group to work with because they sing so flawlessly. You don't have to do that much work to their vocals, if anything. You know, the only thing you really probably need to do is maybe work with a little bit of a de-esser to like work on the s and the s and the p. You know, because for me, like as a music producer and understanding how this works, if you're um, if you're um, singing, typically a lot of the p, p, the p's the p comes out through the s. The S's, they come out very strong. So you use what's called a de uh, de technically, to kind of calm those down. So it's more like, it goes from a, like, <laughs> you hear <laughs> how, like, aggressive that probably is. I'm sorry if that sounds horrible. To more like a, <laughs> so it's more softer that way when you put on a de uh, Same with the S's. Instead of a shh, like that, it's like, Sss. so it's a little bit more calmer, you know? Um, but, I mean, besides maybe putting that on there, maybe the EQ just to maybe round out the bass, uh, the bass notes because you don't want a lot of bass coming in from a vocal. Um, you know, typically you round that out for really anything you do. You always round out about up to about 100 or 200, depending on what song you're working with um, in the uh, frequencies to, like, let's make sure there's not a lot of bass interfering with the uh, um, singing. Especially because no, 9 times out of 10, when you have a song, you already have bass in there, so you don't want basses colliding together, you know. And then... Um, also, a lot of, maybe a little bit of EQing to kind of get rid of some of that room um, reverberance and stuff. Um, also depends on where they recorded that, but you know, uh, that's kind of like the very basics of it all. I won't get into much more than that, but you know, I, because I'm a music producer, I do like talking about this stuff with you guys, you know? So yeah. But um, yeah, this is like I said, it's like they literally are just able to sing in studio version just without even trying. <laughs> it's so good. Woo! Woo! <laughs> She's cute. I love it. Okay, girl, go off. That's cool. I honestly didn't realize that while she's rapping, one of them is kind of giving her a little bit of backing vocals to the rap. I don't think I've ever really heard that before. I've never really heard like a group or a singer where, I guess it'd be more like a group or a duo because you'd have to have two people do this. But anyways, I've never heard like a group before in K-pop, J-pop, or P-pop where you've actually had somebody backing up your <laughs> raps with a little bit of backing vocal. That's actually so cool. I mean, I don't know if they're freestyling that, if that's actually the song, but... That's so freaking awesome. I love that. Oh, it's just so good. This might be my favorite song of like all time right now. I love those deeper vocal tones. I have got chills. Wish exclusive on Wish 1075. Wow. That was astounding. For Hi, more Beanie. Wish exclusive videos, click here to subscribe. That was cute. That was so freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. What on earth? I mean, honestly, like, I already love this song so much, but hearing them sing this live, I love it even more. I didn't even think that was possible. I mean, it's one of those things where, like I said, it's... 
it's insane to me how absolutely incredibly talented the singers are coming out of the Philippines. I mean, every single artist, every single group I've listened to, they all just have astounding vocals, astounding rapping skills. It's like they are just on another level sometimes. Like, don't get me wrong. I love K-pop. I love J-pop. But, man, the P-pop groups and singers know how to bring it every time. Especially when they come on something like this Wish Bus. You know, they, they come on and they just sing their hearts out and whatnot. And it's it's incredibly amazing to hear them having no processing, no editing, no, um, <clears throat> excuse me, no, um, you know, mixing, anything like that on their vocals. And they sound just like the studio version. It's just astounding and so impressive to me. I mean, honestly, these girls are just, they're going to get so much love and support from me because I truly, absolutely adore them. I love them and they deserve all the attention in the world. And I'm hoping that, you know, just by chance, maybe even my own videos can hopefully get it out and reaching out to, like, you know, more and more people because they deserve all of the love and support in the entire world. And, um, yeah, I will definitely be reacting to even more stuff for you guys. I'll go have. Um, I'm gonna go round off our, um, you know, Kara um, reactions with, of course, dance practice because you guys asked for that too. And of course, I'll go ahead and dive into the other songs you suggested, like Cherry on Top, and about like three or four other ones. I think you guys recommended maybe even more. So, but yeah, my main focus right now for sure is gonna be on Beanie, and so um, look forward to many more reactions coming from me in the very, very nearby future. Um, so yeah. But as always, guys, again, thank you all so much for your endless love and support on my first video. And I hope you guys will show just as much love on this entire journey we go on together to me and to my reactions for you guys. So, yeah. So, if you did enjoy this reaction, please, guys, take the time to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, of course, more than anything, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next reaction video. All right, you guys. Bye. <laughs>